Today we've announced the acquisition of Paddington Central, and I must say I'm really pleased by the acquisition. It speaks to a number of things that we've been focusing on, in particular since the time that we announced our placing back in March. It's a large transaction, we purchased it off market, and it is also in one of those areas which we believe is critical to our business. It's in London, it's in the West End, and it's all about a combination of assets which are yielding, but also have development potential. Put those together and it's a great package. So we're buying a major interest in Paddington Central, and let me explain to you exactly what we're buying. Paddington Central currently totals 1.2 million square feet in size, and on completion of the various developments will grow to just over 1.6 million square feet. BL is today purchasing just over 600,000 square feet, comprising four well-let modern buildings, plus there are also two sites with development potential, so our aim will be, over the next few years, to end up owning 1 million square feet out of a total of 1.6 million square feet. So what this means is that our London office business is well over £4 billion, and we like that because we think that the waiting to London is going to be good for the overall group's performance. And then at a subsector level, also, what we've done is we've increased our waiting to the West End so that it's now the lion's share of the office portfolio at 57%. First and foremost, we have got great belief that London is a good place to own real estate and invest. And, and quite simply, we think that the supply and demand characteristics over the next few years will be in the favour of the landlord and therefore rents should grow. Managing large London office estates is what we do really well. And there are good examples there in the work that we've done at Regent's Place and Broadgate. And what we will do with Paddington is we'll take the experiences and the lessons that we've learned from managing those estates and apply it to Paddington to improve the environment and to improve the value of the estate. When you look at the real estate, I think it plays to British land's strengths. So first of all, there's the ability to improve the real estate through day-to-day -day asset management. There's things like improving the environment, but there's also things like improving the services to occupiers, and then there's some space that we can let. And we feel good about the prospects of letting this space because of the quality of the building that the space is in and also because of the, um, the feel for the market that we get when we have been letting office accommodation in Regent's Place. And then the really, really fundamental part is that we can complete the estate. At the moment there are two largest sites that total about 355,000 square feet. And our ambition will be to develop those out. And much like the experience that we had at Regent's Place, we would then finish the estate and that would improve the environment. And again, we're going to attract more occupiers. And as we attract more occupiers, we've got a, a good prospect of increasing the rental level that's on the estate. And at the moment, that rental level is not too high. It's just a bit below. £50 pounds a square foot. The government is doing its bit in helping the area regenerate through investing money in infrastructure and some of the big infrastructure projects that are already completed are, are the upgrade of Paddington Station and the Heathrow Link but then just around the corner we've got the Hammersmith and City Line that will complete in 2014 and then the really big thing is the completion of Crossrail in 2018 and these infrastructure improvements plus its existing location we think means that Paddington will perform well as an area. Then with the developments it's, it's also meeting a commitment that we gave to our investors at the final presentation of our results this year where we said that we would look to maintain the level of development in the office business and therefore we were looking to replenish the development programme as the existing developments completed. And if you look at the near-term development programme that we were talking about, it was 500 million, but with 
the purchase of Paddington, that will go up to around £850 million. To summarise, we're getting a great deal. We're buying £470 million worth of real estate in an area of London that we're excited about. The yield that we get from that property day one is attractive and we've got a really good prospect in the short term of getting it higher than 6%. On top of that, we've got development opportunities and in effect, in a really simple way, you can say that we're buying the development sites off a price of around £175 a square foot, which is really good value for money. So this acquisition means that in total, since the time of our share placement, we've made over £750 million worth of acquisitions. In turn, that means that on an earnings per share basis, we're now accretive for this year. So overall, this is a really exciting opportunity and a really exciting investment for British land. It really speaks to a number of things that we're good at. It speaks to our ability to manage estates. It speaks to our ability to understand London and its occupiers. And finally, it allows us over time to rebuild our development pipeline. Our London development pipeline in turn has been one of the real drivers of profits and performance for British land. I expect that to continue.